Good evening, and welcome to our new student orientation for our 8th graders, 10th graders, and any student. Our building will be open from 5.30 p.m. to 7.30 p.m., and we want you to join us in person. This Google slideshow takes the place of putting us all in an auditorium, unable to be socially distanced. Thank you for your understanding and your participation. This is your high school leadership team, consisting of principals by student alpha order, our director of counseling, youth development and leadership, and our coordinator for early college high school. We look forward to a great year. This is our high school counseling staff, an alpha breakdown by student and grade. In addition, we also bring your attention to Mrs. Renee Montroy, our new school social worker, and our RISE counselor, Mrs. Stephanie Hare. Our orientation agenda is focused on helping all learn the goals and direction of the high school, for you to get to know your administrators and counselors, and know the procedures and protocols for the opening. Our district vision is our long range goal is to develop students. Our district vision is ESM Central School District will be an exemplary 21st century learning community whose graduates are prepared to excel in a complex, interconnected, changing world. Our long range goal is to develop students who are ready to positively contribute to society, and we know our graduates need to be prepared to face whatever challenges the future holds, which is hard to predict in a world of nanotechnology, driverless cars and trucks, artificial intelligence, and sooner than you think, space colonization. All students are taught how to apply the seven habits of highly effective people to lead your life in a truly effective way. This represents a proven process of personal and interpersonal growth that can have an, in, that can have an immediate and lasting impact. Habit one is be proactive. This means to be responsible. Take initiatives that will help plan and achieve the future. And lastly, not blame others for the choices that you make for yourself. The three proactive steps that you can do are one, keep track of your due dates in your agenda book. Two, use your study hall and after school time to complete assignments and study for future use on tests, quizzes, and other forms of assessments. Get to know your school counselor, teachers, and administrators, and how you can use them as trusted adults when you need guidance or assistance. Habit two, begin with the end in mind. Begin with the end in mind means to begin each day, task, or project with a clear goal. To help you think about beginning with the end in mind, you will work with your teachers to set short and long-term goals. They can be recorded in your agenda. That will also allow you to track their progress throughout the year. Goal setting encourages a growth mindset. It also supports the development of skills needed to be successful in the future. When you think about the tasks for your individual day, it is important to think about what you need to be successful. Students have the same locker for four years, so when you find your locker tonight, be sure to make sure it works. You will have five minutes between classes to transition. You are allowed to carry your backpacks so you can plan ahead when the best time is to visit locker, visit your locker during the day. Lastly, when you are thinking about your courses or any concerns you might want to discuss with a school counselor, be sure to make an appointment to meet with them. See the secretaries in the counseling department and make an appointment or parents can call. Habit three, put first things first. Remember, attendance is very important, so it's important to commit to being in school every day on time. Our school day begins at 8.50, 
and your first class starts at 8.55. If you are late to school, you must sign into the welcome booth with an excuse. Late to school and or class may result in consequences. As I mentioned before, you have five minutes to get between classes, and that is plenty of time to get where you need to be. With block scheduling, teachers will have high expectations about the amount of work completed in the time you have. There will be homework assignments that won't be due until the following class. That is two days later, so it's important to organize yourself to keep up on assignments. It's much easier to do the work along the way than to have to play catch up. Cell phones may not be used in the classrooms. Students will be assigned a Chromebook to use throughout the year. Students just think, how many times a day do you check your messages? How many times a day do you check social media? How many hours per day do you spend on the phone? Add these up. After a while, this will use up your academic learning time. Teachers will communicate the expectation that they have for where cell phones are stored during class, study hall, and in the library. Students will be able to use cell phones in halls and during lunch. Families are encouraged to use the office phone as a way to communicate. Parents, please call this office when needing to give a message to your child. Hi everyone, my name is Mrs. Trevison. Welcome to the high school. I'm gonna to talk to you today a little bit about think win-win. And the important word here in habit four is think. Think about all the choices you have before taking action. Consider the opportunities that are best for all. At the high school, we use pride behaviors every day and everything that we do. And sometimes things don't work out the way we want them to. In these moments, think about how to turn them into a win-win situation. On September 7th, you'll all receive a copy of the student handbook. We encourage you to become familiar with the expectations here and in the ESM Central School District Code of Conduct as they will guide your success at the high school. And remember, peer pressure isn't always a bad thing. Sometimes it can be a really good thing, especially when we encourage each other to do the right thing. These moments are think, win, win. In Habit 5, we learn about seeking first to understand and then to be understood. Working to hear what others are saying so that we really understand them on a deeper level is so important. Think about clarifying questions, listening carefully and critically, and presuming positive intent before speaking yourself. Part of being at the high school is learning to appreciate different perspectives and ideas. And here at the high school, we have quite a diverse group of people, ideas, perspectives, and talents, each of which contributes to our wonderfully diverse community. As part of that, each of you is protected by the Dignity for All Students Act, or DASA, which became effective on July 1st, 2012. This is integrated into the Code of Conduct and our student handbook. In it, are included provisions for reporting and intervening in cases of discrimination, harassment, or bullying. Any related concern should be brought to the attention of the building principal who is designated as the Dignity Act Coordinator. You may also come and speak to any trusted adult that you have in the high school so that they can then report this to the principal, Mr. Avellino. This is an important slide Please take a moment to take a picture or to write down the cell phone number here or to write. This is an important slide. Please take a moment to take a picture or to write down the cell phone number here so that you can enter it into your phone. If you do happen to hear anything at the high school that's concerning or has you worried and you want to report it anonymously, this phone number will allow you to do that. This allows you to leave a detailed message that administration can follow up on later. Students, we cannot stress enough that if you hear something from your peers, that someone is making a threat of any kind, please see myself, another administrator, a teacher, a counselor, or any trusted adult. Do not keep it to yourself or dismiss it because it doesn't sound real or you think that someone is joking. Always tell an adult 
and we will keep your name anonymous. You can use the principal talk text line to do this also, as we will not know who is sending us the information. When we synergize, we are thinking about the whole versus the individual. We value and appreciate others. We believe in the importance of diversity, equity, and inclusion. We work together for the good of the team. Working together helps us generate ideas that are even better than my ideas or your ideas. And we develop and support ideas that reflect teamwork, collaboration, and each student at the high school has an assigned school counselor. That counselor will be with you throughout your entire high school experience. He or she will be able to support and guide you. Be proactive and make a plan to reach out and get to know your school counselor so that you can synergize and make plans for your future. Parents and guardians also have an opportunity to synergize by joining our Parent Advisory Council, also known as PAC. PAC is led by our Executive Principal, Mr. Avellino, and our Director of Counseling, Youth Development, and Leadership, Mrs. West. PAC is a collaborative partnership between parents and guardians and the school. We know that when schools and families form authentic partnerships, they build strong connections that reinforce students' social, and emotional development. Working together allows us to develop creative ideas to support all of our students. We will host our first planning meeting on Tuesday, September 28th from 6.30 to 7.30 p.m. in the library at the high school. Subsequent meetings will be held on October 19th, November 16th, January 18th, February 15th, and April 26th. Save the date and please be sure to join our first planning meeting Tuesday, September 28th. This year's theme and focus area will be supporting, encouraging, and improving the ESM high school experience for all students and staff. During our monthly meetings, we will brainstorm, discuss, and create goals and action steps. Together, we can build an inclusive, thoughtful, and collaborative partnership. Positive behavior interventions and support is the foundation of a positive school climate. At ESM High School, we have a pride matrix in which students learn how to develop professionalism, respect, involvement, diversity, and excellence in all that they do. The pride matrix is our guide to appropriate expected behavior in all of our school settings, including classrooms, the auditorium, hallways, the cafeteria, bathrooms, and the bus. This matrix will be reviewed with you during the first few days of school. Habit seven, sharpen the saw. Spend time with your friends and family. Be sure to take time to, for yourself to rest and rejuvenate. There are a number of ways you can sharpen your saw within the school environment. Source of Strength is a program that helps connect you to peer teens to make social change. Get involved in clubs and activities. There are many, such as art, carpentry, chemistry, engineering, French, Spanish, gaming, Spartan stage, band, gymnastics, just to name a few. They are listed, all the clubs, in your handbook. The first exciting event coming up is our varsity football game. It's Pop Warner night here on September 16th at 6.30. Bring your family, meet new friends, and cheer your school on. OCC has established a scholarship partnership with ESM. This partnership is extended to all ninth grade students who meet eligibility criteria, which is attendance, behavior, GPA. Students who successfully complete this program are eligible to receive first semester full tuition scholarship opportunities and to earn subsequent semesters, three of them. You will receive more information on OCC Freshman Parent Information Night. There is also an OCC Advantage information table located in the lobby. Please stop by. Parent Square is a communication platform that all schools in the district will be using to communicate with families. You'll see posts, messages, and alerts, and families have the option to customize their experience through a website or through the app on a mobile device. To learn more, Go to the Parent Square website. The link that you see on the screen will take you to the Family Handbook. 
It consists of several frequently asked questions that we provided answers to to help support you as you transition to the high school. On the first day of school, students will receive an agenda. Inside the agenda will be passes, the bell schedule, and places to keep track of their assignments. Inside the agenda is also the code of conduct. Students will sign off indicating that they've received the, the code of conduct and we encourage you to review it with them at home. When you arrive to the high school, you will be able to pick up your schedule and a map and start to take a tour of the building following your schedule. You can head to the B wing and try your locker. Your combination is on your schedule. If you have any issues, please see Ms. Scarlotta in the uh, main lobby in front of the auditorium or any of the administrators that are spread out through the building. Thank you for viewing our orientation video and we look forward to a great year.